A bicyclist is in the hospital tonight after what appears to be a hit and run on Longboat Key. The man says he can't remember the accident, and now police are trying to piece together what happened. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick talked to police about this investigation today, and she joins us live along Gulf of Mexico Drive where that accident happened. Jess. Good evening, Haley. Longboat Key police aren't exactly sure what happened here. An officer found a 69 year old bicyclist on the side of the road. That man, however, was confused after hitting his head during the fall. So police are asking for the community's help to help them solve this crime. It was around two in the afternoon on Sunday, April 2nd, when 69 year old Mike McCormick was found on the side of Gulf of Mexico Drive. We don't know if it was uh, a hit and run uh, in that the vehicle struck the bicyclist causing the accident or whether the bicyclist went down and the vehicle may have run over the bicycle itself. Longboat Key police are investigating it as a felony hit and run. And right now they're chasing every lead they have, starting with what a witness saw. They heard something which could have been an impact and then looked in that general direction and saw what they described as a, a smaller white pickup truck, maybe in somewhere in mid 90s model. But after checking the license plate recognition cameras and patrolling the island, they cannot find that white pickup. They're hoping someone somewhere might have the answers. I think that would be a, a key break in the case. Uh, um, and we could then interview the driver. We could find out what happened on that. We could look for damage and so forth. The back wheel of McCormick's bicycle was bent in the accident. But police say it's not enough to tell whether or not he was hit. While shaken up, avid bike riders on the island aren't surprised to hear about the accident. I don't actually even ride on the road anymore. I stay on the sidewalk just because, frankly, I'm afraid somebody's going to hit me. These bike paths on the island are slightly less than six feet wide. And despite signs plastered along the roadways to watch for bicyclists, Drew and Eva Cotterman say they have near misses nearly every time they ride in the bike lanes. There's constantly close calls and, and they're just not there to see it. Drew was almost hit just two days ago, he says, a few blocks from where McCormick's accident happened. After throwing ideas around to reduce speed on the road, something's got to happen. The couple came up with a better solution. That's why we ride the sidewalk. There's a barrier of some sort. Perhaps if you're going to have a bike lane, maybe you need to build a small, if nothing, just a small barricade, just a tiny one, enough to make someone call attention to, oh, wait a minute. McCormick's wife was riding with him that afternoon of the accident. However, police say that she was a few minutes behind him, so she did not witness what happened. If you did or have any information on that white pickup, you're asked to call police. On Longboat Key, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.